Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode 5 of season 3 of Ascendance of a Bookworm. So let's go ahead and get started. And 3, 2, 1, go. I still can't believe we have five weeks left of the show. Which sucks. Because I don't want it to end. Ugh. Like, it's such an underrated good show. And I mean, like, why would you end it on three seasons? With, like, 30-something episodes, you know? At least let it run, like... I'm trying to think. 50 episodes. Do it like Pretty Care. Pretty Care does like 49 episodes, kind of maybe 50, 51, depending on what it is. Oh, really more of like their earlier seasons. Current seasons now, it's like 49. And, you know, because mine is such a belovable, yeah, belovable, <laughs> beloved character. I, I mean, you know, we all want to see more of her story. So I'm like, damn, what happened? <laughs> But of course, or if it's not like that, give her an LBA like you did last time or just give her a movie. I mean, I like, you know, this show too damn much. Like, uh. Well, at least she got home safe. I still don't trust her like that. Mm-mm. Because Delia, you know, she got her own issues and things that she ain't talking about, so come on now. Because you're important. I still wish we got to see more on the freaking orphans. There's so there's so many unanswered questions with this show about certain characters and issues and stuff. Of course. Huh? Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Oh, thank goodness. Well, it wasn't like that at first, you know? Yeah, for the kids to have fun. They need to have fun, right? Okay, weird. Huh? <laughs> yeah, but Luce isn't there now because Luce already left on his um his traveling salesman thing, right? So it would be you know Benno and his niece doing everything currently as of right now. God, ooh, that is close, close. Hey, how you doing? Hmm. Yeah, so it'd be easier to make a book. Then you add some ink and some paper, stomp it down, and ta da! Mm-hmm. Ta-da! You know, hey, making a book. <laughs> it sure will. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that you can't, yeah, of course. So, do we need to have the discussion now? Are you okay? No, my God! Well, what did she do? Hmm? 
well, what's the opportunity? <laughs> it has something to do with like the restaurant thing, right? Okay, yeah, it, it has something to really do with the restaurant shit. Oh, it's pretty. Uh, okay. Uh, no, silly. It's really pretty. Go ahead, put your hair down. Mm hmm. See, okay, you know what's, what I'm thinking kind of right now with this? Uh -oh. She's going to have to use that in this episode. Come on now. Why would he give this to her in this episode when something might happen in this episode where she has to use it? He is sweet, very carefree, and it's... Oh, God, I think I'm starting to fall for him. Damn it. But now, mm -hmm. Can't answer that. Mm -hmm. She's right, because people could get you know very very reckless and you know wanting something for themselves, and next thing you know, be like World War whatever on our hands. I mean, technically, with the situation on mine, we're already going in that way, but... Basically. Seriously? But that's just still too long though. Like, oh. Mm. Trying 
true. Yeah. Do you know how long two years is in people who like books? That's for other. No, it's not that. It's just still, she wants more time with her family. Two years is not enough. God, they went all the way back to season one with that ish. Yeah, what is your relationship with him? Like, yeah, yeah. I I, and I don't want to say y'all lovers, but y'all are close. Well, that means something. Yes. And they're always there to greet you when you get home. <gasps> oh! <laughs> mhm. Mm Be careful. It's time. She over here in the damn conversation. See, I told you we couldn't trust that girl, girl. Oh, it's a he. Unfortunately, but those two years will be the best years of his life. See, look at this bitch. 
She got and went and told. Like he a he a pervert or some ish? Why are we late? Wait, girl, and you want that? Mm 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 mm. Oh. Uh huh. It came mine. Damn, we're done already. Oh my god, this episode went by so fast. But oh my god. So cute, but I hate the fact that you know mine only has two years with him, and it's gonna be like those two years are gonna go like this, and especially like probably where they're gonna end this show in the next five weeks. Like it, it'll be hilarious to me if let's just say we get to a point from now to episode ten where they decide to do a quote unquote flash forward with her where she is officially the age where she's going to be adopted yada yada and you know he's only going to be two so of course he's not going to be able to talk which sucks but he'll he'll be he'll be like a toddler but it, it's going to be really hard doing that and i'm happy she was able to go home and i'm happy that breeze let her go home like oh that that just felt so good and like oh like she got him and everything it was just so cute like oh but yeah this episode went by fast now the fact that the novel is coming i'm guessing next week i wonder how that's gonna go and then delia what this damn little girl like you know i remember in the beginning i said oh i don't like her then i liked her again now i don't like her again don't like her again at all when they have the baby in the ending too that's cute like, uh-uh, no, little girl need to get the heck up out of this damn series. Oh. Mm. So, damn, you... So, like, five... Oh my, hold on, wait, okay. And then Tuli and mine, that one. So then I'm guessing, you know, Kami must be either the sixth or seventh tri uh, child that they tried to have. So she's had a lot of freaking, like, not only miscarriages, but, you know, also, like, really bad things. So this, this final child, if this is their final kid, is a huge blessing to them. And, you know, I'm really happy for him because... You gotta, like, and sometimes I think about this, like, myself, like, because my my mom was in a, sim uh, a similar situation where, like, I am an only child, um, and my mom has had so many miscarriages and stuff, and I've told the story before where my mom and I were very close to death when I was being born, and sometimes, like, even now it kind of scares me to have kids because I think about that all the time, um... And such, and at the same time, they're like, I think when I was in my maybe when I was like 16, 17, or 18, um, and I was like, when I was thinking when I was older and such, between like my early 30s to like imagining me in my early 30s, late, uh, to late 30s, where I kind of want to like adopt, and I've always loved that idea of adopting a child because I really think it's sweet 
to, you know, adopt someone and you get to, you know, raise them, whether they are from, you know, from a baby up to a grown adult and such or, you know, whatever and everything. But then at the same time, like, let's say whoever I get with, like my future husband in the future, um, he still wants a child that kind of looks like the both of us. And I'm still okay with that. I still would like to have a child that, um specifically still looks like me but the same like at the same time I'm still one of those where like I really want to adopt I want to you know bring blessings to other kids and I've seen that before and I've met a lot of my friends who they have like different feelings on adoption and everything some people say it's good some people say it's best I think it's because that you know that one you remember that one movie orphan um, everybody freaking looks at that film and they're like, yeah, that makes me not want to adopt because you never freaking know what the heck is going to happen. True, I get that, but it, it's a blessing. You are giving a child, like, a good life. And, you know, because before that, they weren't in the greatest. You never really know what's going to happen. But if you look at both, yeah, Orphan and, like, the freaking Annabelle series... <laughs> Uh, especially, I think, what, what was it, Annabelle Creation? And, and actually, the thing that happened about that, like, come on now, let's be a little smart. But yeah, I still would love to adopt. I think it would be a really good idea. But, like, I'm really excited to see what in the world is going to be in store for these next, like, five episodes. I feel like we're just going to breeze past them, and the next thing you know, we're going to be done, and I'm probably going to be crying. <laughs> Knowing myself, I'm probably going to be crying. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction for you towards episode five of season three of Ascendance of a Bookworm. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. and make videos every single day. Oh, excuse me. Oh, my God. <laughs> Join the Magical Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Monday for episode six. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye, guys.